Hey everyone and welcome to Joe and Zach Survival. Today it's kind of snowing out. I don't know if you guys can maybe see that, but... Snowing out. Got some snow on my shirt there. And I want to show you guys my almost finished, just a couple more things to do, ice house. So I had a blue tarp, but luckily on the inside, like the inside out, it was gray. So I flipped it over to the gray side, and then I painted it all, um, at least the wooden pieces, like the front and the back. I painted those black. So front, there's the, bl the back. Uh, right now I just have this one uh, piece in there for stabilization on the top there but I'm gonna have you guys can maybe see the shelf I have right there that little piece of wood yeah another piece is gonna go up in this corner and then it'll be straight like that side but right now it tends to sag a little bit but that's just I'm gonna work on that anyway so the dimensions are four feet high by four feet in length and <clears throat> I think uh, 32 inches from width-wise. And that works great because I fold this thing down and I actually tried it. I folded it down and then I came over to my car here. And when I pulled the, pulled the seats down, it fit really nice inside of my trunk. And it just goes, you know three four inches into the back seat with the seats down and it was pretty easy to slide right in there slides right in uh, works great I haven't went fishing with it yet because I can't drive out on the lakes here or at least people aren't yet so just waiting uh, so here's the inside pretty basic you see the blue tarp on the inside there got my hole cut <clears throat> and I was actually in here and um, cutting off some nails because this is real thin plywood and the nails came through so I was just grinding them off and <clears throat> it got hot in there <laughs> amazingly um, I had a tarp my dad had a tarp that was in his bug out bag they let me use and I threw it up all around and I don't know if I went the wrong ways or whatever but it wasn't quite long enough but I just took the slack because there's about three feet of slack coming off of all the sides. I just cut that off and put it on there and then put a line of duct tape on the inside and that seemed to work great. So got my hole and then I put a window on the front of it, plexiglass, and I got a, a door lock here so when I'm inside I can lock myself in. And I put some strips along the side so it holds it tight that way if I want to jump out really quick I don't have to shut the door and have a latch on the outside it just saves me time and that was right there and um, well, I had a normal chair like those ones right there and when I sat inside of there my head would touch the my head would touch the top so I grabbed just a simple um, pot from a, for a plant and threw it in there so when I get in here sit in here whoa, there I am I can extend my legs fully no big deal and um, I still have a backrest so just like that set you guys up top of the hole and I have plenty of room in here my head has once this is up my head will have probably like six inches and I still have a back wrist because of the back of this <clears throat> and uh, I might build a chair or else I might try one of those kind of camping lounge chairs in here and that actually might be low enough that I can sit in here perfectly fine and be fishing too and I wanted it you know long enough so that I could 
um, cheers, get me. wanted it long enough so that I could put my heater up in like a corner and my bags and stuff on the side, which worked out great because my hole is about like a 12 to 15 inch hole, and then I have, you know, one, you know, I have probably be about a foot or more on each side. And that also works great for when I get out of here, because when I am going to leave, I need some room to step over the hole. And so when I get out, I have to put braces, because see how it wobbly that is? So my next thing is just to put some braces there, but then I can step over here to jump out. And uh, it works nicely. Now I want to show you guys how easily this thing folds up. So I'm going to set you guys right here and fold it up right now. I want to make this video, it'll probably be a longer video, but I'm not going to cut anything. I'm just going to do it all right with you guys. I'm just setting up the tripod right now. There we are. And so I'm going to slide this thing sideways and show you guys how easy it is. Okay, so um, the back goes down first. I have hinges that are right on the bottom ply. But then on the front, I put a like four inch board, stick up about maybe two inches. And then I put my uh, hinges and stuff on top of that. So when it folds down, it'll fold over this piece here, which was a key thing. And so how this goes is you'll take all your stuff out, then you take out your bracing. And with your last brace that you take out, you let it go down using the piece. Fold down. And then you kind of have to lift up on it. Then you have to hang the tarp around it so that it kind of pulls the tarp inside out a little bit. Said I'll fold it up and I'll take you off the tripod here. So that's what it looks like all folded up. Here's the board I was talking about. You guys can see that gap there. Here's where my hinges are right there. And this board goes up and then it lays flat on there, which is sweet. And throw that right in the back of my car and I'll grab it tape measure for you guys and show you how <clears throat> so there's the top so it's about five inches five inches high when it's all folded down so I did this I originally had plans that I drew out but this whole thing went completely different I did it all just using, you know, common sense, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll try to make some of me ice fishing sometimes in it, so hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on a snowy day. Thank you guys for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.